Winter could be a hard time of year for the Summit citizen at the turn of the century. For instance, if there was a fire in Deantown or East Summit, firefighters had to pull the firefighting apparatus through the snow. The trains usually were able to run through the snow, but trolleys often got stuck in deep snowfalls. A sleigh ride was not just something to do on a snowy Sunday afternoon, it was often a necessity in order to get around after a storm. There were plenty of outdoor activities during the winter in Summit. With considerably more open land then, it was easy to find a hill on which to sled. Here, several children are sledding down New England Avenue. Another popular activity was ice skating at Deefy Lee's Skating Pond, near Summit Avenue on the north side of town. Skating was also popular on the Passaic River when it froze over. Naturally, the arrival of the snow and cold weather meant that Christmas was close at hand. The front page of the December 21st, 1895 edition of the Summit Record is nearly completely filled with Christmas ads from local establishments, featuring items from the familiar to the peculiar, at least to modern tastes. And lest you think that post-holiday sales were a recent innovation, check out the ad from the December 28th edition. Those who could not afford to buy gifts usually made their own. The holiday itself was a relatively simple one. On Christmas Eve, residents would light their houses with candles at dusk and gather for carols around an outdoor Christmas tree, weather permitting, perhaps followed by a reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Christmas Day featured the obligatory church service, with the opening of presents usually taking place after dinner with family and or friends. Happy Holidays! With a trip through Historical Summit, this is David Hawksworth for the Summit Report on TV 36.